Hi, Ben here, and welcome to another Work in Progress Wednesday. So what we're working on this week is, amongst everything else, is we've decided to go through all our holdable axes that we've got in our store. So some of you might not know that we actually stock the Holtervors axes and we also stock the Grand Swords axes so that you can basically come to our shop, you can pick up a wood carving knife, you can pick up a crook knife and you can also pick up an axe as well. So you can basically get your whole green woodworking spoon carving kit all under one roof. So what we decided to do is to make sure that we go through all the Holtervors axes that we've got in store. Obviously they've travelled a few hundred miles, they've been juggling around in the boxes and stuff, so we want to make sure that they're absolutely perfect, they're absolutely razor sharp, so when you receive your axe, you know it's going to be a performance tool straight out of the box. So we want to make sure that they're ground nicely, razor sharp, so if you have got to then maintain them, you'll only need to actually use a stone to get a sharp edge on there. You won't need to go and find somebody with a grinder. So I'm going to go through the axes. I'm going to take this down into the grinding room now and just give this one a little bit of a tweak. It doesn't need much, but yeah, it's going to make it a real high performance tool. So we're down in the grinding room. We've set up our grinder. So we've set it up with a relatively fine grit. This is a 220 grit, but it's a, a ceramic belt. This is actually a Coupertron 2 belt, so it will cut very sort of aggressively, but keep the steel nice and cool. So we don't want to over scorch our, our actual cutting edge. Now, the, the attachment that I've got on there is a rotary platen, so it's got this rubber backing, which will allow the belt to deform to create the apple seed grind that we want on our axe. So we're not making a flat grind, we're getting this lovely rounded edge that will allow us to get a very sharp cutting edge, but also a lot of strength to it as well. So before I fire up the grinder, I just used one of these little lights that I've got set up, and I want to look down the cutting edge, and I'm looking for any light that's bouncing back off that cutting edge. So I can see there's a little bit of damage in the middle of the blade, uh, a little bit of white light bouncing off there. Obviously, if you've hit a big rock or something like that, you might need to take more material off it, so you start with a coarser belt, basically. But, yeah, secret is, is make sure that these don't get too hot. So don't wear gloves. Have bare hands so you can feel any heat build-up, and have a little bucket of water by you as well. So we'll fire up the grinder, and we'll apply it onto the flat itself. So I've kept grinding until I could almost create a burr that I can see coming over the other side and I've got this lovely convex grind. So you can see as I apply pressure you can see how that rubber gives and the belt can deform to create that lovely apple seed grind. So we've got that one side done. So now I need to recreate it on the other side so we'll flip it around and do the opposite side. So I've ground both sides, I've got a nice even convex grind on both sides, I've got rid of any noticeable flat spot along the actual cutting edge itself and I've created a nice even burr all the way along the cutting edge so I know that I've got it sharp. All it needs doing now is honing so we're going to use a leather strop to remove that burr and then we'll know that it's absolutely razor sharp. So we've come over to my other grinder, this is set up with a rubber contact wheel and this is actually a leather belt that we've charged the surface with a sharpening compound. So this is just a very fine grit paste. So we'll turn on the grinder, it doesn't have to be running very fast, charge the surface of the belt and we're just going to gently apply pressure on both sides of the bevel and this will help polish the bevel itself and refine those scratches but it's also going to help remove that burr. 
So I'll flip it over, do the other side. And then we alternate each side and ease off the pressure slightly. So I'll pass on each side basically. Turn the grinder off and then we just want to have a look down the edge itself, make sure that we've removed all that burr, starting to get a real nice shine on the bevel itself and then I'll normally just check with my thumb. So run my thumb off the edge, make sure I can't feel any burr and that feels pretty good. To test for sharpness, don't run your thumb down it but you can just slide your thumb up against the edge, see if it bites into your skin a little bit or I like to test it by just putting it on my thumbnail at a very acute angle and see if it bites into my nail. So that's good, that's ready to get parceled up. So we've got our Holton hatchet ground and we've stropped the edge. I like to just give it a quick final test just before we package it up and make sure it's as sharp as you're going to get it. So that's razor sharp, ready to go. So to prevent any corrosion on the actual cutting edge itself, I like to make sure that I apply a very thin coating of oil. You can use any oil, but I like to use this camellia oil. It comes in a handy little applicator and you know that it's a nice food safe oil as well. So a nice thin coating on there and then we can put the leather mask on the axe itself. So that's ready to go in its box and it can get sent out to the customer. So if you get any of the Holter Force axes from us, you know they're going to be ground and razor sharp ready to use. It will also give you the correct edge geometry as well, so it's going to be a lot easier for you to then maintain the axe itself with your water stones or your diamond stones, whatever you want to use. So hopefully you've enjoyed seeing how we put the edges on these axes and what we've been up to in the workshop this week. If you need any more information about the Holter Force axes or any of our other carving tools, please feel free to leave a comment in the video. Anyway, thanks again. Tune in next week.